Welcome back. Oh, I have lots of emails. Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to your vlog. It's a Thursday. It's been a week since my results. It's gone pretty fast. It's gone super duper fast. So, yeah, there's that. Just uh, vibing. But good morning. How are you? I hope you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. Well, I woke up quite late today. It's annoying, um, but it's not the worst I could do it on because I've, I've done a lot yesterday. If I was very busy yesterday. Um, I'm going for another swim today because I enjoyed it the other day. And I wanted to go again. So I'm going again around two-ish. It gives me about three hours to get this video finished. And then I've got an idea of what I want to do later. I don't want to do it if it rains. It'd suck if it rains. So, or if it's sunny for a bit, I would I'd happily do it. I just, it was raining all day yesterday. And if it rains all day today, then I probably can do what I want to do, if that makes sense. I'm going to stop, but I'm kind of half asleep. <laughs> I haven't really woken up yet, so I'm going to get on. I, I just got back from swimming. As you can tell, my hair's a bit wet but um yeah swimming was all right it is the second time this week i've gone swimming and um i've missed it a lot i have it's a bit hard when there's quite a few people in your lane but like near the end of the session people just start leaving so you're gonna get to yourself if you stay long enough it's quite nice grow my child grow it is now like five o'clock in the afternoon and i'm feeling good oh crap come on come on a wipeout by the faris. Oh crap. And the thing about getting a new ukulele, or, or ukulele, as I've found out recently, is, is how you pronounce it apparently. But uh, the more you know, I've been spending a bit too much time on TikTok, so that could be not true. So I don't really know what to do. It's, it's now at that time of quarantine where I'm just bored. Like the, at this time I thought, you know, we'd be allowed out again and we'd be allowed to go to places. This is, needs to be awarded. But it hasn't. It hasn't been like that. And um, I just don't know what to do. Like I have stuff to do. I can do that. And then there's, I kind of just want to do something new. I've made two, like, there's only so many like short films you can make by yourself. Um, but today I thought I would describe the, the story of my tortoise, Bobby. This is Bobby. Um, Bobby is my eight year old Herman tortoise that we got six years ago we got Bobby when he was two and actually when we got Bobby uh, we thought it was a gal now what happened is that um, the owners who had Bobby before us uh, they had quite a few pets and they got this tortoise off of someone else who wasn't treated very nice and they gave it a new home uh, you know gave it a proper diet and looked after Bobby so when the previous owners got Bobby they, his name was Bob and uh, they took Bob to the vets and uh, they said well Bob there's a gal, Bob's a gal. Uh, so we decided to change Bob's name to Bobby. And yeah, we had Bobby in this original house. I'm not sure if I have a picture of it, but if I do, this is a picture of it. When we originally had Bobby, we had a, a vivarium for him to live in, a heat lamp in it, and side a glass door. And we quiz a bit mean. He kept trying to go up against the glass and get out. And uh, basically, Herman tortoises aren't really supposed, when they're older, they're not. So they're kind of outdoor tortoises, they're not indoor. So we got Bob a new house. It's almost like a rabbit hutch type thing. We got Bob, you know, it had an indoor bit, an outdoor bit. You know, for a while it was pretty good, but if you get no tortoises, they grow pretty fast when they're young. So it got to the point where Bob could probably climb out if we gave it another year. Kind of scary, we didn't want Bob to climb out. And there's been a bunch of times where if you can see over, he's gonna try and get over, but then if he's not tall enough, he's just gonna fall back on his back. Really scary when tortoises go on their back. I've only encountered Bob do it twice. And one of the times was when I come home from school and he was on his back and it scared the absolute crap out of me. Like really bad, you know, in the wild, if that happens to a tortoise. It, it's not a great thing to happen. Obviously we don't want that happening inside the house. Terrifying, but luckily I was there. I don't think he was there for long. It's, it's quite sad to see. So as Bob was growing up, you know, I remember bringing Bob home on our first day. We had Chinese that night as well, best day ever, <laughs> and I got a new tortoise. So the time finally got to the point where we couldn't have Bobby in this enclosure anymore. So we got a new one. It also had this door that you could take off. So what we would do is that where Bobby is in the conservatory, it gets nice and hot, what he absolutely loves. So we can take off a panel of the enclosure, put it down, then he has the whole conservatory to roam around. And then we usually set up different obstacles in the middle. So then we had an idea. That, that we wanted to make something a bit more permanent for Bob. So he has his space and it's a big space. So we designated a part of our garden to but Bobby's house and this is Bobby's enclosure. It's rather large. We made it ourselves and we put it together. We made sure to put meshing, like a wire mesh along the bottom of it so you can't dig out. We've been planting plants in there that Bobby can't eat. So it's really sustainable in there. And we put stuff in there like plant pots, like half plant pots so he can crawl inside them. He absolutely loves that. And also he has his house, what he absolutely loves. 
And that is my tortoise Bobby. Um, I'm sorry if you're not interested in tortoises in any way. I felt like I've never really done a video of Bobby. Not quite a lot of people don't really know about tortoises and they can be quite needy, uh, especially our one. Um, I really want to do like a documentary about Bob. I feel like that would be really funny. Like kind of like a spoof of Animal Planet, David Attenborough. I thought that would be absolutely hilarious. Look out for that maybe if I end up making it. But yeah, uh, that's all for today's video. Yeah, it's a weird, quarantine is weird. It's at the weird stage now. But yeah, uh, to stay up to date with new videos, make sure you subscribe as well as like this video. That'd be absolutely amazing. Life's getting pretty crazy now. We're getting closer and closer to uni start dates and holidays. Oh God, it's all happening so fast. Uh, make sure you stick around and I'll see you tomorrow. See you then and goodbye.